Right, let's make a glass that looks like this. Create a path, rotate it on y axis by 90 degrees, then move the vertices around and also change this to vertices. So when you press G, Shift, Tab, and move your mouse out over a vertice, it will snap to that vertice. But if you press Z, it will only snap in that axis. And we will press G, X, move it to the side like this. We can move this down a little bit. And then we want to move out this on X axis. We can actually move this in a little bit and down. And we want to press E, Z, and move up. I will add another with C down here and move these up. And then I will select all of these, press GX, move them to the side a little bit. Then I will align this vertice with the vertice furthest out here. I can, I can move this down a little bit. The only thing you want here is to make the proportions correct, like this. Something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. The only thing is that it has to be proportional and that the foot needs to be aligned with the vertice furthest to the right in this case. Then we need to add a screw modifier and we want it on the X axis. And now with the screw modifier, we can, if we want to, we can add more, more steps, which is sides. But I'm not going to do that, so I will convert this to a mesh. Then and I will add the solidify modifier on the negative side. And I will also add a subdivision surface modifier. And then I will press and shade out smooth. I also will add some faces in between this section like uh, if you look at reference images you will see there is some like uh, edge here and there's some edge down here too so i will press alt and select them around like this and then i will press f one time and i will do the same on this one here f one time so we will do the same here. Select the vertice, press F and F. This will make sense when we have the glass shader on. So let's create the glass shader. Go to shader editor, create a new. And then we want to keep this and change the transmission to one. And we also need a little bit of sheen. We can turn down the roughness to something like 0.03. In the base color, in here we need to add a mix color and change the color here to enlighten. And we also turn up this to white. Then we can also add a mix shader here and add a transmission or transparent node and then put the fact to something like 0.2 and also we need to change the roughness to zero or close to zero i will put it to zero then to be able to see our glass shader we need to go into this render viewport and also change the cycles and change from CPU to GPU. And then to make it easier for my computer, I will change the noise threshold and put the samples to 100. Then I will scale this down a lot because now when we add a mesh or now when we add the plane, we will see that this is two meters wide, so this glass is very big in comparison. Then I will press G, Z, Shift tab and aim for the corner because I have the vertice on. 
if you don't want to press shift tab you can just select this press G Z, and then move it over the corner all right but we still don't see anything so we will add a light and I will add a area light move it up on Z axis I can press S and X to make it thinner and I will press G X and then I will press R Y and move it like this and rotate it you can also do it in this little tab here rotation and rotate it like this then we need to add the back so I will tap into edit mode of the plane select the edges or pressing 2 then I will press G X move it a little bit like this then I will press E Z move it up and then I will select this edge here and press ctrl B to bevel it and then I will scroll my mouse wheel a few times to add some smoothness to it and I will also shade it out of smooth in object mode now the only thing we need is a camera and I will press on this little X to see it from the side and then I will press Control alt 0 on my non-pad and in this transform I'll set the Y to 0 and I will move it closer to the glass like this and I can also move it down and then I will select the plane and press S Y like this and now to make it even easier for my computer I will press Control B and then I get this little thing here and now when I hold left click I will get this little like window here and this will allow me to render only specific parts so if I only want to render in the camera view I can just hover over the camera and then drop my left click and it only renders the camera view now if we want to render only the glass we can just do it like this and it only renders the glass the problem here is if you want to render this now it will only render this little corner so make sure when you're rendering do it like this all right but for now I will do it like this and I can see now the wall behind it is very close to it so I will move it on the x-axis away from it and I will go into edit mode and move this on x-axis closer to camera like that and 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 then I will add a background a or a sky dome so I will with the help of node wrangler press ctrl T on the background get to, to get this then I will open a HDRI and then I will get some reflections for free I also see that this is too big so I will change the thickness to 0.01 we can actually turn off the light right now because we have an environment that will add light to our scene on the back or the plane I will also add a new material and turn down the color to make our glass more visible and if you want to you can turn up the weight to one of the coats if you like this video give it a like and if you want to see more of these videos don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video